What did you learn about the opposite sex a little late in life? I used to think girls peed out of the vagina. RIP high school health class not helpful at all. This made me laugh. I thought girls peed out of their butts until I was 14. Then, when I was on a ski trip with friends, they made fun of me and called me an idiot and told me that girls peed out of their vaginas. Then, at the ripe age of 25, my sister who is a health professional informed me that no, girls do not pee out of their vaginas. So it is out of the butt. I felt guilty for playing with their tits during sex I assumed they got no pleasure out of it. Turns out they usually love it too. If y'all know what you're doing go for them titties. Don't anime grope them though. That they're just people. Men can like. Move their penis. More like a bobbing motion but what the f Up until I was at least 14 I thought there was a third hole in between the vagina and the butthole where you were supposed to put your penis. There are three holes so you were kind of right. I kid you not. My uncle actually believed women never passed gas. Not until he was almost 40 years old. Married my aunt dad's younger sister and she proceeded to rip the loudest one under the covers he had ever heard. Apparently the women on his side of the family refused to acknowledge that women fart and a few of them have said it in front of me. May not be all women but y'all have period panties. The vagina is not on the front like the penis. I was shocked how up under there it is. Girls have to get wet to enjoy sex. Goddammit you liar. Now my wife is pissed off that I sprayed her with the kitchen faucet sprayer. I was a young boy. I kicked my older sister in the crotch. Found out that girls don't have the male genitalia. That's my purse. I don't know you. I had always assumed that tampons, pads were strictly for leakage. I thought females had a sphincter-like muscle to hold in their periods. But blood stained so badly that women used tampons and pads as an added layer of security. I assumed women would go to bathrooms and, push, out all their menstruation nasty. I wish I could just push it all out in 30 seconds and be done for the month. Balls involuntarily move all the time. The skin ripples. It is prominent when going from one climate to another. Such as getting out of the shower and drying off. That guys had pubic hair on their balls. I thought they just had the bush and that's it. We wish. It's a pain in the nuts to shave let me tell you. I lived a very sheltered life until I was about 16. Some of the seniors in my sophomore math class were talking about donating sperm. I assumed they had some sort of slang word for peeing in a cup and I asked where could I go and get paid to pee in a cup. I didn't realize that a dick can change sizes without an erection just by how a man is standing, sitting, or laying down. See no evil I used to think my boyfriend always had like a half chub when he was standing up versus when he is laying down on the bed. I thought penises got slimy and slippery when men were about to have sex. I have no idea where I got this idea, to be honest. When I was 16 and was fumbling through my first hand blow job, I remarked on how soft skinned and dry his dick was. Slurp slurp. Yo Joe. That's a dry ass dick. They do not pee from their clit. From the ages of 14 to 25, I thought that guys just hung out and watched porn together on the couch. Like dudes being dudes. Giving each other high fives and shit. Ain't no way I'm letting my friends know my porn preference. That's so much roast material. I was in a life drawing class when I was 18 and most of us were 18 year old girls. It was cold that morning so the nude model's dick looked really small and I think most of us didn't know dicks could grow because there was giggling. I'm sorry Tim. We know your dick isn't always small now. As a life model I can tell you the people that run the class would also prefer that we weren't rock hard around a bunch of 18 year old girls. It kinda gives off the wrong impression of why you're there in the first place lol. You know like when you grab a woman's breast and it's, your, you feel it and it feels like a bag of sand. It's even worse when you squeeze too hard and actual sand comes out. That men often rely on their female SOs as their sole source of emotional support and open communication. This lead to a lot of confusing situations for me when guys didn't really want to be in a relationship with me. But they couldn't do without the emotional companionship it provided for them. So I often ended up getting what felt like very mixed signals. It took me a long time to learn that mixed signals almost always means I should leave. I think this is also why the concept of the friend zone is so prevalent. Women are used to being emotionally open with their female friends so when we make male friends we share with them and form emotional intimacy. To us it's not romantic, 
It's just how we talk to our friends. I told my best female friend about my troubles at work, my feelings of aimlessness, and the fight with my mom so why wouldn't I tell my male friend? However, a lot of the time men are used to only sharing those kind of feelings with their partner so they assume their female friend is romantically interested in them, and then when they're not they accuse the woman of friend zoning them and leading them on. I was 15 when I found out a woman's vagina is not just a few inches below the belly button. In movies the missionary position made it seem to me like a guy entering a woman was directly down from a push-up position. When I had sex for the first time with my now wife I was pushing my penis against her mons pubis wondering why it wouldn't go in. Men do not need the stuff that happens in porn in order to enjoy sex and I don't either. It took forever for me to realize is that changing positions, speed, angle, etc. all the time is not needed, or even wanted. You find the place, time and speed at which it works for you both and you repeat it. Men will be over the moon if you show enthusiasm during sex and will be more than happy to repeat the same motion for more than 60 seconds if it gets the woman there with to come. Except I didn't know this, my EXP was based entirely on porn where weird position, quick changes and alternations are used simply for the visual. Sex became a lot better once I figured that out and was no longer afraid to ask for what I need that guys can flex their dicks. Now I make my boyfriend do it because it just blows my mind. For a fun experiment, start hanging some items on it and see how much weight he can lift. Snap. The mental image made my dick run away. That white women can have brown nipples. A girl I used to know thought, well into her 20s, that the semen of African American males was colored black. The bit under the head of the dick is called a frenulum and it's a good place to put a vibrator. I discovered this when some friends were talking about it and I had an image of them holding a hitachi under their tongue. Holding a hitachi under their tongue. I read that as hibachi and I thought, what the f are they grilling? That towel turban actually has their hair twisted up in its skeptical smiley face. I have had mostly male friends in my life so naturally most of the nights of heavy drinking have been predominantly with men. But the other night I got drunk and was with mostly women and let me say, the way drunk women gas each other up is the greatest thing. Just raining compliments on each other non-stop. How kind and trustworthy she is. How great her outfit is today and every day. How proud we are of her new job. Etc etc. Getting myself caught in the crossfire and being on the receiving end of that unrelenting love, especially while plastered, was something I have never experienced with my guy friends. Also made me realize how good it feels to let your friends know how great they are. Like why don't I do that more often? Guys with vasectomies still ejaculate. I don't know what made me think this, but I assumed nothing came out when they orgasm after the procedure. Probably jokes like they took the venom out of the cobra. The semen is made up of three liquids, one from the balls, one from the prostate, one from the seminal vesicles, you can still ejaculate without one organ. Not all men want sex all the time. When I was young my mom would tell me that men only want one thing. Everyone from my relatives to pop culture seemed to agree that men wanted sex 100% of the time. Which led me to have some foolish insecurities when I was dating someone and they weren't in the mood. Because if men want sex all the time and he didn't want sex right now then it must just be me right? It took me a long time to learn that men can be not in the mood and it has nothing to do with me. One night while getting ready for bed my husband had to blow his nose. Now. He gets terrible hay fever. He also sleeps naked. I was already in bed waiting for him to get into bed for some pre-snooze snuggles. That was the night I learned that when men blow their noses, their testicles contract. I haven't laughed that hard in ages. Till that people vary significantly as to what constitutes a little late in life. Women's farts can travel from their buttholes and get caught in their vaginas. That's was a secret to me for nearly 25 years as a man. I know now. Ladies forgive me for questioning the validity of Mr. Panty Sniffing Ninja's statement, but I'd love a second opinion. Yeah, it's like a bubble. Super gross. Vaginas vary in size just as much as penises do. It's not my fault I have a wide set vagina. When you find a girl you like, just f tell them. As soon as I learnt they don't know unless you tell them I was away. That menopause thing. I thought it was something that happened kind of suddenly. And was over within a few weeks. Ah. Uh, no. You younger guys out there. Get ready. 
Guys have hairy butts. I read about it online and handwaved it as just something a few have and like to complain about. But my ex also had a hairy butt, so I guess it's not that rare? Guys have hairy everything. Hairy. And I mean very hairy butt. And a barely visible mustache. Body can be very strange sometimes. Like a wig being used as a bookmark for a dictionary. Women don't have blue fluid leaking from their body. I was like 13 when I learned that maxi pad commercials pour blue fluid on them to show their absorbance because blood would be in bad taste. 